Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Code UK. Just wanted to do a really quick video about Umbraco 9 RC4, so that's a release candidate 4. It just came out today, and also I wanted to tell you about unattended installs. Um, it's blown me away. So again, just a really quick video, just give you a few tips that I learned from Seb from Umbraco HQ, and um, also show you this unattended install and show you my new uh, starter kit for Umbraco V9 as well. Uh, so first of all, let's get on to the tips. So one of the tips was that um, Seb told me to install Windows Terminal. So if you don't already have it downloaded, download it and use that instead of the command prompt. It's really good because it, what, it, what it does is it integrates with Windows PowerShell for me, but also um, when it runs, like and it, you do .NET run, it gives you the site URL and you can just do control click and you can open it. So we'll see that. Um, the other things is like when you're typing in, you can do CD, uh, CD and then tab and like that and then enter. So that was another tip that he told me about. Um, when I did .NET run, uh, sorry, when I did .NET build, I didn't need to do .NET build. This is referring to my last video i didn't need to do dotnet build i could just do dotnet run because that does a build anyway you can also use dotnet watch as well if you want it to build um when files change but what i didn't like that so you can do dotnet watch run like this dotnet watch run and that will actually um and let me zoom in on this you could do .NET watch run and that will run the site and it will also watch for changes in the files and it will do a dynamic rebuild. But uh, I didn't like that because when I generated my models, it sort of like got stuck. Um, anyway, oh, let me show you this. I just cannot believe this, how well it works. So I was on the Umbraco Discord server this morning. Let me just navigate to this new folder. So I've made a new folder. That's all I've done so far. And um, in this new folder, I'm going to put a new site. I'm going to use my starter kit. I'm just going to copy this and paste it to um, Notepad++ first of all. So this is it. And um, what it's going to do is it's going to set up an Umbraco 9 site without me doing any of the install or anything like that. I'm just literally going to copy and paste this into here. And watch this and it says are you sure you want to paste all these commands paste anyway and just watch i just couldn't believe it when it when it worked so i've hit enter it's gone off it's doing its thing so it's downloaded the it's updated the templates the latest um release candidate for what else is it doing while it's doing that i'll just go to here so yeah, it's getting the latest templates, it's creating a new solution, it's creating a new Umbraco project with some um, user details, username and password, and the connection string to use with SQL CE. And if you prefer to use local DB, it's just above as well. It's doing all of that, it's adding the uh, package as well, the starter kit that I created, portfolio there, pre-release version. It's adding that package, and then it's just got down to this last bit. It's a .NET run. So I'm just going to hit enter again. And it builds. <laughs> it's unbelievable, really. It builds and then um, creates a site. And if you watch, um, it's going to install the pages from the starter kit. So all I've done is I've pressed control paste and then enter once and then enter again when the uh, cursor was flashing at the end of here. So just give it a sec. And it, it's actually... It's going to complain it can't connect to the database yet, but that's because it's creating the database. Now you see all these uh, SQL commands uh, output to the console, so you know that it has connected now because the database is there. It's now installing the package, all the pages for the package, and here we are. And because I'm using um, Windows Terminal, I can just hover over that control click and it will open the site for me. And all I had to do was just enter that command line and I, all right, I hit enter twice. Now it's loading up the site. You can see um, what it's doing here. It's logging out to the window. It's loading up the site and at any second now you'll see the starter kit site installed.
You didn't have to do any setup, nothing. So there it is. Like that is just crazy to me. I just can't believe that that is how you can easily install on Braco now. So I'll just give you a quick tour of this uh, site. So it's a simple portfolio site. Um, there's the home page and the CV page. Contact page, so there's a contact form on there and the projects page. So the idea is that you could, if you wanted to, if you're not just using it to demo on Braco V9, you could actually use it if you wanted to. Um, and you can log in to the back office and because in that connection string there, I've said my email is admin at admin.com and my password is that, and that's what I always use for these packages anyway. So I can just log straight in and then I can just show you around the back office as well on how I built these, just what what what's involved with the starter kit. So we've got examples here of just strings, a media picker for the avatar, the bit of the excerpt about the person, the profile link. So when you um, go to the home page, there's a link to the profile. Read my CV. So that is in there, read my CV. And then I've got, this is using the um, block list editor. So here, this block is a call to action block and I've got a settings node. And this was inspired by uh, the guys at Uskin, how they did their item name and hiding. So I could do, um, th what this is the call to action row. So if I wanted to override what, what it says over here, I can do that. And I can also click on hide. And it didn't update, so that's something I need to fix. But anyway, that should update in here. Oh, it did. Yeah, it's worked. Call to action rows, the name, and hidden. So in theory, when I reload this, we shouldn't see this like what you see call to action. Oh, we do. <laughs> so anyway, I'll... I'll um, I'll, I'll work on that. It's still pre-release, but that's the idea. So the idea of is you can turn the things on and off to be shown or not. And I got that idea off you skinned. Um, cards row, you can here, you can add some cards and you can edit all of this. And then on the footer content links, you just got some contact and projects. So they, they map to down here. And then I've got some social icons. I'm using the icons that came with the site that I built. I built it using Bootstrap Studio and it uses an icon set. I just created a simple drop down. I didn't want to create a fancy doc, uh, data type with icon previews and all of that. Because you probably won't use the icons that much anyway. And then there's a CV page where you can put your work history. So you can put your jobs on here, start date and end date, things like that. Education, you can just say that you went to this and you got this degree and all everything like that if you did. Then we've got skills. So you can say, oh, um, I'm good at Umbraco, 100%. I'm C sharp, I'd say I'm 90%. You can drag this slider around and update that and that will update on the CV page. There. And then you can put some contact details. And again, you can either do an icon link, so that's using the icon, or you can just do, oh, they're both icon links, what's the difference? Oh, this is a text, sorry, an icon and text, or this is a, an icon and a link. So icon text item or icon link item. Um, What else is there? So yeah, there's a contact form, and you can update the thank you message when they've submitted it, or the error message if there was a problem. And then there's a project list and you can edit the individual projects and the content of these is very simple. It's just a simple rich text area on these project pages. So I've included block list editor, nested content, simple content, things like that. Yeah, so hopefully you can uh, have a look at my starter kit and it's so easy. I can't believe how easy it is just to install this. This blog post that I'm using is my Umbraco 9 useful snippets. It's just got things that I learn about Umbraco 9, useful commands to use in the command line, or all sorts of things that I learn. If it's worth remembering, I'm just putting it into this blog post. So if you go to my website and then click on blog, it's the first one, because it's the latest one.
um, I think for now that is all I wanted to tell you on this video. So I hope you liked the video. If you do, please uh, click on like and subscribe um, and share with others as well. And if you wanted to, you don't have to, but some people like to. You could get buy me a coffee if you if you like to, if you like staff to kit or something like that. And you want to buy me a coffee, you can uh, go to codeshare.co.uk slash coffee. But again, it's never expected. No one's obliged to. You can use all of my stuff for free anyway. I really don't mind. So that's it. Yeah. So enjoy. Try to start a kit out. Try release candidate four out and just see how easy it was to install it. Couldn't believe it. All right. Take care. Bye.